Um, hello, my name is Dave, and I want to thank you for watching my tutorial series here at my website review.net. Uh, this series today, we're going to be going over the basics of how to edit your my website. And our lesson today is my very first tutorial at the site, so please bear with me through any awkward moments here. But uh, today, we're going to go over an introduction to the control panel. So let's go over there right now. So when you first log into your control panel, you might see this box appear at the top and you can move it around a little bit, but we'll get into this later. Um, for now, you just want to click the X in the top right corner and get rid of it. Now, now we're in the basic control panel for your account. Um, here's where all the main different areas are where you can access your domain names. Um, here's where we're going to go to edit the website. Underneath here, you can access your search engine optimization options. Under my data is all your user settings. You can change your password. Under users and communication, you can create and edit email addresses, access your online storage. And then down here, we have downloads and help where you can get uh, the support, uh, help, and contact one on one. So for now, under website applications, we're going to click edit website. And that'll take you to another page. And on this page, the second column is titled Internet Address. And underneath that, you'll see either a link for your domain name if you have one, or you will see a link that has a long number and says initial dash website. And what, you, what I like to do is right click on that link right there and click open link in new tab. And I'm in Google Chrome right now. And that will open the back end of the website itself in a new tab right next to your control panel. Um, if you just click the open here, if you just click the open button here or just click on this link, it'll actually open up your website in a brand new window where you won't have your file menu and address bar in there. So that's why I like to open it in the new tab. Okay, so here we are in the back end of the website itself. So as you can see, we can see the basic website that's already been set up here when we first created our account. And along the right hand side, you will see an area that has all of the options for working with the styles, the layout, and inserting elements into our page. So let's just go over the main elements here. So if we click on layout first, this is the area where you can go to change the layout of your website. So you can scroll through the different ones. Um, there's, right now there's about 48 pages of layouts, so there's definitely a lot to different, choose from. Um, the next section is style, and in this section you can change basic things with your template like the background color. Some templates let you change the font style and different things like that. Insert elements. This is where you will actually go to insert different elements onto the page when you're building out your pages. And you'll see different uh, categories up top like basics, which has a text box you can add, a heading, an image, you can add horizontal lines, an image with text that wraps around the side of it, a table, and widget HTML, which is what you would use if you wanted to just paste in a little bit of your own code. For multimedia, you can insert images, photo galleries, flash movies, and here's a few of the web apps like Flickr, SlideShare, and YouTube. Under products and documents, you can uh, embed a document viewer right in your web page, which will display a PDF. Um, you can sell products on your page. You can add file downloads. Um, you can add comments, a newsletter sign-up form, a few different things. Under contact and communication, you can add a form. Once again, the newsletter sign up. Sometimes you'll see the same features within different categories if they fit in multiple different categories. Under social, here's where you can add a social bookmarking app. And then here's just a few of the common apps that people use that you can go ahead and add to it here. And then finally, web services. This is where you'll find most of the apps, which is a newer feature of the My Website that you can add into it. So then under Insert Elements, next we have Settings. And here's where you can go to edit your domain name, turn on your mobile, mo mobile optimization, um, edit the header section of your website in case you need to put analytics tracking code or something like that that. You can edit your favicon, which is this little image up here that shows in the browser and in people's bookmarks. 
Um, the copyright is in case you want to edit the little area down here. Um, and then there's some different security issues where you can password protect pages. Um, next section is search engines where you add in your keywords, descriptions, things like that. And in the last section here, you can uh, set up your email addresses, send out newsletters, and use the telefriend feature. Um, next, we have the help section. And in the help section here, you can actually drag this box around and you can watch these videos in here while you're working in this area of the control panel. So if you scroll down here, you'll see they have different tutorials on style, header, editing content. And I'm going to be creating my own tutorials rather than just using the standard one-on-one -on -one tutorials because um, certain times I would like to add my own thoughts and input on the different features and what I think about them. So. Um, and then finally, additional services. This is where you would go if you would like to add on new products or extend your website beyond the basic package. Okay, so that's basically the main menu to the right. So I'm going to close that out for now. And then before we finish here real quick, um, if you hover your mouse over your website here, you'll see some different areas like edit page structure. If we click on that, That'll show you where all the different pages are added, created, managed. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit later in another tutorial. Um, here you can edit the header of your website. It lets you edit the background, the title, the logo, and whether you have the shot feature enabled or not. And then here's the main area of the website. And you can see when I hover my mouse over different things, you'll see that box appear around them. That shows you the different elements on the page that were added by using the insert elements box. And once again, we'll go over that in a lot more detail in another lesson here, but I just wanted to basically show you, you know, where those are at. So, well, that's about it for the first introduction here. Um, there you have it. There's the control panel and the My Website. And uh, the next lesson is going to start digging a lot deeper into the specifics of how you can edit your website. All right, thanks again for watching. Um, once again, thanks for putting up for all the awkward moments. This is the very first video tutorial I've ever created. So uh, thanks a lot, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.